hello viewers welcome to the channel in this video we'll be creating this model using two workbench part design and part workbench we'll be using the part workbench simple to create a wire from part sketch to avoid creating and changing the attachment of profile sketch for each part sketch created i hope you like this video and if you're not subscribed subscribe and also if you want to support the channel you can do that just go to the description of this video and you'll find the link to my Ko-Fi page. Thank you and now let's create this model. First we'll create a new document. Click here in this icon or use this keyboard shortcut. Click here in this icon to create a new document and now let's change the workbench here to part design. Select part design. Okay and now create a new sketch. Select exit pane for this sketch and now go to these tools here sketch uh, geometry and select line tool and first draw this line and next this vertical line in this way okay and now select arc tool and draw this arc in these two endpoints okay and now select Tangent constraint and make these two lines tangent and now these two lines here. Okay, and the next thing to do is to set the dimensions of this sketch. So first we select this first call distance tool and then we'll set the size of this line here. We'll set 25. Okay, and the distance in these two points here will set 70. Okay, and now select this tool here, constrain radius diameter and click in this arc and let's set a radius of 30. And now select horizontal distance tool, this point and this point here. And uh, let's set a distance of 60. Okay, and now let me organize these dimensions. Yes, now we can leave the sketch. Click here in this icon to leave the sketch and press on. And as you can see, now we have the sketch. This sketch will be our path sketch. Let's go to the model tip and let's rename this sketch here. Then click on mouse and select this option or use this keyboard shortcut here. Let's rename this sketch to path one. Okay, and next create a new sketch. Now in XY plane, double click. Okay, and select Arc Tool. And now what you do, we click here in this horizontal line and in this origin point and draw this arc. And now select Line Tool and draw this horizontal line in this way. And now select these two points here and place this constraint here, vertical constraint, and select this tool, horizontal distance tool. For this line here, we'll set a length for 15. Okay, and now select this tool and constrain the radius of this arc here to 30. And then leave the sketch and press home. Go to the model tab and let's rename this sketch to path 2. Okay, and the next thing that we'll do now is to change the attachment of this sketch here. So what you need to do is to select this sketch and then click on mouse and select attachment editor. And now what you do, we click in this button and first here, we'll select this vertex here. And then click in this button and now select this line. Okay, and now scroll down and we select this option here. Okay, and now let's change to the top view to see these two sketches here. As you can see here, we have the sketch and the sketch. And now we need to change the rotation of this sketch in the z axis so let's do that okay he will set angle of 90 degrees and now scroll up and click ok okay now as you can see we have this sketch we have these two sketches here we change the attachment of this sketch and now let's create a copy of this sketch then click on mouse and select this option copy and use original solutions and now pass the sketch in this document and let's move the sketch to this body okay 
and now what we'll do is to change the attachment of this sketch so select this sketch here and click on mouse and select attachment editor click here on this button and now what we'll do is to first select this vertex here click here and then click on this button and select this line and now select this alignment here okay and now let's change to the top view as you can see here we'll need to change the rotation of the z axis so let's do that let's change here to minus nine degrees okay and now we have this and the next thing that we'll do is to change the rotation of this sketch in the y axis as you can see here if we change to the front view so let's do that let's change here to we'll change here to minus third degrees okay in this way and now scroll up and click ok and now as you can see we have this all sketch here we'll use this all sketch here to create this this part so okay now let's create the profile sketch click here in this icon to create a new sketch and select xy plane double click here what we'll do is to draw a cycle select circle tool in sketcher geometries and click in this origin point to draw this cycle and let's click in this icon here to constrain the diameter of this cycle to 30 and then sketch two times to lift the sketch let's go to the model tip and let's rename this sketch to profile sketch okay and now what you do we change to the part workbench select the part workbench okay and now to create a wire from this all sketch here what you need to do is to use this tool here so we click in this tool here and here we can see these all options we select the second option here wire from edge and now click control and select these all edges of this sketch select all edges and then click in this button to create and now close okay and now if we hide this all three path sketch here select this sketch and shift to select this sketch here and spacebar what you'll see will be this wire with this color black okay so now we're able to create this Part using active pipe tool of part design workbench so let's do that first let's change to the part design workbench select part design and now we go to the model tip so okay now we're able to create the salt using this tool here active pipe tool but before we use this tool here we need this wire inside this body to do that we'll use this tool here this tool here will create a copy of this wire but the copy will be inside this body so what you need to do is to free select the wire and then click in this tool here and we click ok now and now if we hide this wire here spacebar what you'll see will be this wire but now with this color and we'll see this object here sharp binder okay so now let's create our salt using active pipe tool so what you need to do is to free select the profile and then the command and now click in object and select this wire and then click ok and as you can see now we have this salt okay and the next thing to do is to create a thickness in the salt here as you can see we need this hole so so to create this hole we'll use this tool here thickness tool but first we need to select this face and control this face here and now select this tool here we'll make thickness inwards and we'll change here to 2.7 and then ok and as you can see now we have this ok and now let's create this part here So what you'll do is to create a new sketch in XY plane. Click here in this icon and select XY plane. Double click. OK, here. First, we'll select cycle tool and we'll draw this cycle. 
and next you're going to swing the diameter of this cycle to this diameter here we'll set 30 minus 2.7 okay so we have this 24.6 for this cycle okay and now let's hide these constraints and let's select rounded rectangle from here select rounded rectangle and draw this rectangle and next select symmetrical constraint and select this point this point and now this origin point okay so now we have this and then select the equal constraint and we make these two lines equal okay and next we'll set the result of this arc here select this tool click in this arc and let's set a ridge of 10 millimeters okay and now select cycle tool and draw four cycles in these center points and also select equal constraint and make these four cycles equals okay and now select this tool here Click in this cycle and set a diameter of 10 millimeters and then select this tool. Click in this line and set a length of 35 and then leave the sketch and now select that tool. We'll set reverse it and then we we'll change the length here to 6 millimeters and OK. OK and now we need to create this part here in this face. To do that, we'll create a copy of the sketch we use it to create this part here. So we go to the model tip, we click in this arrow of this pad operation, select this sketch here and control C. And now we click in this button and we pass the sketch here in this document and we need to move the sketch into this body. Okay, and now we make the sketch visible, spacebar, and also now we'll change the attachment of this sketch. So then click on the mouse and select attachment editor. Click here in this button and now zoom in and select this face. Okay, if you press home, you'll see that the sketch is here. So what you need to do is to select this option in attachment mode. Click here, inertia to three and click OK and now we're able to create part here so select the sketch and now pet tool OK here we'll set a length of 60 and then OK OK and now as you can see we have this model we finished the design of this model thank you for watching this video and please if you like this video leave a like a comment and share this video with your friends and also if you want to support the channel you can do that just go to the description of this video and you'll find a link to my coffee page thank you and i hope to see you in the next video